Hey everyone, Irix Guy here. Now if you've got a lot of people in your house, maybe a lot, maybe just yourself and a lot of electronic devices, laptops, iPads, etc. What you may want to consider is setting up in your existing home network, setting up a network attached storage, also commonly referred to as a NAS, network attached storage. And basically all a NAS is, is a hard drive in an enclosure that connects to your network. Now before going out and purchasing a NAS, there's a few things I recommend. You can get an off-the-shelf NAS from sites such as Amazon.com, Newegg.com, etc. And some of those are alright. Now the disadvantage to an off-the-shelf NAS that may cost just a little bit over a hundred bucks for a uh, one terabyte drive is that often those off-the-shelf NASs don't have really high quality hard drives in them. So the, uh, the data that you have on there, if it's a value, if that drive dies and you don't have it backed up elsewhere, it's uh, likely gone forever. What I would personally recommend if you're just a casual user, you know, maybe you've got some MP3s, maybe you've got some videos, uh, maybe you've got some documents that you just want to access from any computer or device in your house, that may be a situation where you purchase that off-the-shelf unit that off-the-shelf NAS for $100 or so. But if you want to make sure the data does not get lost, what I would recommend doing is purchasing a NAS, and, and you can get one that's already built. If you're not a really computer savvy person, you may want to get one that's pre-assembled. Buffalo makes a really good one. It's called a RAID, R-A-I-D NAS, and it's got two hard drives in it. So basically you can configure it in a RAID mode to where if one of those two hard drives fails, the other one will keep working. So both hard drives would have to die for you to lose your data in that scenario. But uh, you know that's only if, if you're not backing up to another device. Would you need that? Uh, would you need the RAID and the NAS? But it's a convenient way to better ensure that you won't lose your data. NAS is a great thing to have in your home uh, if your home's already. And this is something I didn't preface it with. I said you already have a home network, but you ought to make sure that your home network is at least 100 megabit per second or better. And actually, I would recommend, I would recommend gigabit Ethernet. Uh, you can get an inexpensive gigabit Ethernet switch now for around 100 bucks. Actually, I picked up a 24 port. It was a Rose Wheel brand. Sure, it's not a, not a uh, Cisco or anything like that, but a Rose Wheel a 24 port gigabit ethernet switch. I'm actually replacing my current uh, switch. It only has two gigabit ethernet ports. With this one, it has all 24 ports at 24 at, at uh, one gigabit. So I'll post a separate video of that switch. I haven't mounted it in my rack. I've got a rack. <laughs> I got some uh, two by fours and made my own rack for my home run in my house where all my Cat5 cables run in. So kind of cool but yeah I would recommend at least 100 megabit per second uh, switch preferably gigabit switch if you're going to want to do and the reason that's important that's the file uh, transfer speed there are other limitations with a NAS that can slow it down if it's an inexpensive NAS and the hard drive is a really slow read write time or maybe you're getting a lot of users hitting that drive at the same time you got to take all of that in consideration because if you have multiple users they're going to be hitting that NAS. That little hundred dollar off the shelf model is not going to work. You're going to need to get a higher end uh, NAS with uh, with uh, more robust drives inside. So, uh, thanks for tuning in. Just wanted to share this video with everyone. Uh, welcome any comments or questions you may have. I know I'm <laughs> kind of a computer dork, so this this may have been too high level. Hey, maybe it was too low level. But let me know. I want to know what your questions and your thoughts are. Post them in this YouTube. Uh, in the YouTube comment section, I'll try my best to respond. Y'all have a good one.